All right, folks, just sharing the discoveries as we make them. So, and I will point you towards, uh, if you go to my, my uh, basically my personal website, uh, speedbumpmedia.com, um, I've actually started a, a blog. So it's, uh, it looks like KFC, but it isn't uh, the KFC as in nasty, greasy chicken. It actually is for Kung Fu Chicken, which is our uh, tire protector on the back. So that is where that comes from. But anyways, uh, on to the important stuff. Um, so the Xantrex, which controls the uh, Lithionics battery, this system does actually have a feature to where if it's not getting enough, basically, pull on the system, it actually will shut itself down. Now that doesn't mean that it kills power to everything in the trailer. Um, I've been testing it out. The fridge does stay on. Um, some of the lights will still cool up, or will still work and whatnot, but uh, things like the microwave, which has you know basically a little higher pull, that will shut off. So the time will reset, but it's just a nice uh, basically battery saving bit of information. And then I want to go through and share this with you. So you have the various apps, and I pointed out the Lithionics one, but the Xantrex has one as well, and what I'll point out, so let me get back into this. So there's a couple things. So with the Lithionics battery, what I've discovered is that, well, one, their website, and again, you can find the link on that blog, has some great information um, of working with the system. So you can actually have basically your battery showing like a 70% charge, but then if you go in here, you could actually have a fault where basically your, your battery is really getting low and you may have to go into the emergency uh, the reserve. And the reason for that is basically there's just, um, as it's going through the discharge state, um, it can actually create a bit, well, they, I think they called it drift, but basically until the system fully recharges and recalibrates, um, you can get a little bit of drift over time and I think they say like two weeks. So that's what that is coming from. So then also, just so you see, so the system actually comes where you can do firmware updates right on the app, which is really nice and handy. Um, and then let me go back into the Xantrex. This is what I found. It's pretty basic, but the nice thing is, let me get this to where I don't have crazy reflections. So the nice thing is, is this shows you basically what's going on with the Xantrex system. So what you can see here is, it's, I don't know how well the video is going to capture it, but it is basically pulling off of the battery and it will show you the load. And then let me go ahead. All right, so let's try this again. So what I've done is I've actually turned on the air conditioning and it's kind of adjusting right now because it's still a little cool, but, uh, but you can see in the app how much draw it's got on it. So right now it's pulling 737 watts at a 25% and then, yes, yeah, so right now that's still going through its fan adjustment. But, so like, let's see what happens if I put the microwave on, on top of it. So the microwave's running. Now we're running 2,300 watts. But it's just interesting to see, so if you're thinking of basically like keeping a spare generator kind of what kind of draw the various aspects are going to have on the system. So I shut that off and then now we're showing uh, the microwave that is. So now we're showing 772 watts um, on the system which is showing about a 28 percent or 26 percent load. So just some interesting things that we've discovered um, and then I would encourage you and then again so with let me get this to where I don't have the glare so here you can actually go in and change your inverter settings, um, basically a power save, um, all those kind of things. So just more information on what's going on with these things. And then again, I've posted links um, on my personal website. Uh, I'll make sure I have the, uh, the link in the description for this video. But you can actually go in and uh, start pulling up information from the various suppliers. And I also put up there, it is, um, basically what was at the time um, the parts that are part of the flex package so you'll know that you know whichever inverter it is as you're going through Lithionics website 
and all those things so you can find out uh, the correct stuff to pull. But I've tried to make it basically as close to you know, the, the final source of information that you would need. Um, so go out, check it out. Um, so yeah, just want to throw this out there for you, you folks that are thinking about it, that want more information. Um, like I said, Winnebago started to post some stuff, but uh, again, I'm just a really technical person, so I like finding out as much information as I can. And uh, for the most part, the, uh, the manufacturers have had really good information. The solar, the, I think it's GP power or something like that, isn't the best, but uh, Xantrax and Lithionics and then the, uh, the Truma, uh, I've got links to all their stuff for the, uh, the water heater um, uh, and all that stuff, the air conditioning and the hot air and all that stuff. So go out there, have a look, and uh, hope to see you on the road. If you see Kung Fu Chicken going down the road, uh, make sure to give us a wave.